people want. I mean, we're just naturally made to, if you have a car that has a flat tire, you want to work on the flat tire. Or if it has a, 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 the engine's missing, well, you want to change the spark plug. Uh, the, so they want to say, if I have a child who has reversals, what do I do? Or if I have a child, what activities would be geared to that? Well, the learning breakthrough activities work at a more basic level. I mean, it's like asking what um, combination of Ritalin would I have or uh, attention deficit drugs would I have to solve this problem. And my experience is that there's no way you can tailor the activity for a specific difficulty. I mean, you can, using common sense, set the balance level where the child on the balance board, which has, a, you can incrementally change the balance level, and this is very important. You start off to where he is able to maintain his balance and execute the activities that he's doing, and then you slowly but surely increase the balance demands by turning the rockers and make it more difficult. But basically what you're doing in the learning breakthrough activities is you're developing the system that underpins learning. I mean, the learning breakthrough, if you watched in the video today, we had changes in visual acuity, we had changes in binocular vision, we had changes in reading, and sometimes they're negative and sometimes, most of the time, they're positive. But the fact is, is that the activities affected all of those basic areas. And so it, it's some, the learning breakthrough, the combination of activities. You do a series of activities and uh, set it up to where you challenge the child without over challenging, like the, the uh, pendulum ball. You can move a little bit farther back and like the stand is set where you can lower it and put the targets on it so you can get farther back. And the farther are you, you are back, the more difficult it is to hit the target because as the ball moves through space, if you, the farther are, you are away, the more the error is amplified. And so you can change that, but you can also change the balance level on the balance board to make it more difficult and more challenging. And so by actually just doing the, going through the activities in a, as they are on the tape, um, over and over is what makes the difference. Yeah.